Do you want to start off? I can kind of hear it to say something. Well, I mean, I'm going to say I'm looking ahead. Okay, I it's not looking ahead. Ohio State. I mean, Rashawn's in your shades and you're talking about bitter taste from last year. What is your feeling right now about uh, getting ready for that game? We just got to continue attacking it, you know, like we have every other week. I think one of the great things we did this year is do things the right way from the start. So we can't, you know, get too high, get too low. We just got to continue sticking with the mission. You have a special place in your heart for, for playing Ohio State? Mm -hmm. I, I do. But we've been, you know, attacking each week like it's a championship game. And this is nothing more than that. And obviously this is a game to get us into the Big Ten Championship where we want to be. So we got to do our job and make sure that happens by any means necessary. Dan, uh, going into this Ohio State game feeling different than the past couple years. Had a couple of ranked matchups against them that you guys are maybe in a, a different position, probably be expected to win this one, or favored to win this one. Does it feel a little different for you guys going into this year? Uh, it is different. You know, it, it's, it's been a while since this has been a game to, to determine, you know, our fate in the national championship or the Big Ten championship. So it definitely is a different game. And uh, we're going to make sure we handle our business. Talk to him about this game. He'll be at press conference on Monday. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> well, about, about, about this game, did it get kind of chippy out there at times? And you, you got a little agitated by some things that were going on. It did. It did get chippy. Uh, I mean, playing, they didn't talk much to me um, throughout the game, but they definitely said things to my other teammates. And um, obviously, the situation with my brother Berkeley Edwards didn't sit well with myself or anybody else. And that was a, a situation that was unfortunate and, you know, kind of shook the team up a little bit. Did you think that was a cheap shot on Berkeley? Most definitely. It, it wasn't called for. Um, and it, it's, it's football, so things like that happen. They shouldn't happen, but they do. And we just got to continue playing. And uh, I hope he's doing well. I'm going to go check on him. But, you know, that's unfortunate that happened. What was Steve. going on? Oh, sorry. What was right, going Steve. on in the red zone to, that you guys had so much struggle kind of finishing those? Yeah, they they did a great job. We didn't execute as well as we wanted to a couple of times. You know, we had some drop balls, um, <clears throat> miscues, and we can't have that. But I'd rather ha that happen now than next week. Steve, Karan, so much happened in this game. So, so many injuries, surviving, and you know your last game in the big house and, and all those things. Describe what your emotions. Were all over and you were leaving the field or celebrating. Yeah, my emotions were everywhere. You know, you you spend this whole week, you know, really cherishing the, the last few moments <clears throat> you have playing up until your last home game and um, you know, from the steps you took to go into the stadium to the steps you go out, your emotions are everywhere and you know, it was an amazing feeling, you know, just really enjoying the time with the fans and, you know, my brothers and you know, the amazing atmosphere and the blessing that I had to play in a big house. Just something I was enjoying. How much are you guys? Just one more. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, looking ahead, <laughs> how much are you guys driven by what Ohio State has done to you guys in the past? Even last year, two years ago, taking away your chances. How much are you guys driven by that? It don't matter. It don't matter. They still got to play us on Saturday. So nothing that happened in the past matters at this point. And you know, if you're doing things right, there's nothing left. Dan, you guys have been playing really efficient on offense in the, the weeks leading up to this game and some red zone troubles this week. Does that derail some of the momentum and the, the good vibes I guess you had as, as an offensive unit going into this next game? Nah. Um, adversity hits and people often judge by um, the person you become when adversity hits. And we got some adversity today, today in the red zone and you know it's up to us to make it better this week and make sure we're on our P's and Q's come Saturday. What was the, uh, was there a, a, one particular issue that slowed you guys down there today? No, I, I couldn't put my finger on it. I think it was just us, you know, not executing and being efficient the way we needed to be. Usually, after the Michigan State game, you came in, you know, looking pretty fierce and saying, you know, you've checked this off the list, people keep questioning us. Nobody's really been questioning anything lately, right? I mean, it's, so are you proving something? What do you think you're proving to people about this team? We're not proving anything to anybody. They're going to get what they get out of it, but we're proving stuff to ourselves that we definitely can be the best team in the country, that we're definitely a top four team.
and that we're a playoff contender and we deserve to play in the playoffs. And that only happens if we continue to dominate each and every week. You guys got anything else for him? All right, see you on Monday.